All right. This is a tutorial to help you figure out how to solve wavelength and frequency type equations. So there's two equations that you need to know for this. One is E, oh, pen's not very good here, E equals H nu. Now E stands for energy, okay, and the units for that are joules. Now your numbers are going to be small when you're solving for energy because you're actually solving for a very small packet of energy called a photon. Right. H is Planck's constant, and its value is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. The unit is joules times seconds. That's not a plural J. All right. And then nu is your frequency, and it has units of hertz. Now, a hertz is basically... 1 over seconds, and sometimes it's written like second to the minus 1. Those are all the same thing. The other equation that you need to know is C equals lambda nu. Now, C stands for speed. Now, this could be speed of whatever, but usually since we're talking about this frequency of um, talking about light, we're looking at the speed of light, and the speed of light is 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Lambda is wavelength, and wavelength has units of meters. So that's basically what you need to know to solve these equations. So let's start off with a practice problem. So if I have um, radioactive cobalt, radioactive cobalt gives off energy with a frequency of 2.8 times 10 to the 22nd hertz. All right, so this is going to be practice problem. All right, so I've got cobalt with a wavelength, I and mean, with a frequency of this. So my first question is going to be, what is the energy? So I look at these two equations, and I see that this is the equation that has energy in it. So I say E equals h nu. We plug in h, which we have up here, 6.626 times 10 to the negative fourth joule seconds times frequency, which is this, 2.8 times 10 to the 22nd. Now, instead of writing hertz, I'm going to write this, because then I can see, actually I might just write it like this, per second. Now I can see that my seconds here and my seconds here cancel, which leave me with just joules, which is what we want for energy. Now, it's kind of tricky doing this on the calculator, so I'm going to show you how to do it. <clears throat> We're going to plug in this first, 6.626. Now the way you write times 10 is you push the EE -E button. So I'm going to push EE, -E and it comes up like that. Sometimes on your calculator it might actually say an E instead of that. Now I'm going to push the plus minus sign to get the negative, and then 34 times, now this number, 2.8, again I have to do EE, -E. that means times 10, and I put 22 in, equals, and what I end up with is 1.85 times 10 to the negative 11 joules, that is the answer for how much energy that wavelength has that frequency has. Now, my second question might be, what is the wavelength of this? And if I have that question, I'm going to use this, because this is how we relate wavelength to frequency. So, C equals lambda nu. I need to get wavelength by itself. To do that, I'm going to divide both sides by nu. And so therefore, wait a second, I want to find wavelength, sorry, let me, I, uh, I did that right, yes. <laughs> C, my nu's cancel and I end up with my wavelength equals C over nu. All right, so now we can plug this in. C is my speed, since we're talking about light, it's going to be 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by my frequency, which is right up here, 2.8 times 10 to the 22nd hertz, 
Again, I'm going to write just per second so you can see that those cancel and you'll end up with the meters that you want. Now, we're going to do this the same way, 3.0 EE8 divided by, now sometimes it'll just switch directly into non-scientific notation, that's okay, 2.8 EE22 equals 1.07 times 10 to the negative 14, now notice it doesn't say times 10, but you understand that when it's written like that, that's what it means, meters. Now I want to show you something. If I asked you at this point, what type of wave is this, what type of energy is this, you could go to a chart such as this, which comes right from the, from the thing, and you can see that gamma rays have wavelengths of less than 10 to the negative 12 meters, so therefore this must be a gamma ray. Now let me just do one more practice problem, because what about if you don't start off with frequency? What about if I give you wavelength? So let's take another example, practice number two. Um, let's say I have light. Whoops, let me just turn on this light. <laughs> I don't have light <laughs> with a wavelength of 760 times 10 to the negative ninth meters. That's often called 760 nanometers which is in the visible spectrum, just at the edge of the visible spectrum. So, number one, what is the frequency? So again, this is what relates those two together. We're going to have C equals lambda nu. In order to find frequency, I have to get frequency by itself, so I divide both sides by lambda. So therefore, frequency equals C over lambda. C is going to be 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by our wavelength, which is 760 times 10 to the negative 9th meters. Notice that meters cancel and you're left with 1 over seconds, which is hertz. When you plug that into your calculator, you get 3.95 times 10 to the 14th hertz, or 1 over second. So that's our frequency. Now, what about if I want to know what the energy is? What is the energy? I don't have an equation that relates wavelength to energy. So there's two things I can do. One is, I've already figured out the frequency, so therefore, I can just use this equation. That's the easiest way to do it. The other thing you can do is you can recognize that since we know what nu is, all right, nu equals c over lambda, you can just plug in c over lambda here and have e equals, e equals h c over lambda. Either way is fine. I'm going to go ahead and solve it this way, e equals h times nu, and again, we're just going to plug in 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds times, in this case, our frequency, 3.95 times 10 to the 14th hertz, or again, per second, whichever way you want to write it, and you'll end up with 2.62 times 10 to the negative 14 joules.